What's up guys? Here to show you some, it's gonna be a hip flexor video. Um, there's one thing I wanna explain about the hip flexor before I show you how to fix it. If you, if you fix the hip flexor but don't fix the cause, you didn't really fix the hip flexor, okay? So there's one common mistake I see a lot when people are squatting and I want you to guys to watch my lower back, okay? You see this? This is how big booty girls walk around. This is not how you wanna squat, okay? You do wanna push your hips out, all right? But when you push your hips out, you want to make sure that your glutes are flexed. So keep the hips flexed and learn how to push your hips out right there. This right here, too much lumbar extension, is going to actually take your glute out of the movement, especially at the bottom, and that's going to overload your hip flexor. So when you're trying to push your, push your back into lumbar extension and squat, it's really, really, really rough on your hip flexor. I had an injury here myself. I feel this even though right now, here's the bottom position difference. So overextension for the lumbar spine, neutral spine, okay? So what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to engage your core a lot more. It's gonna put your hip flexor in a much safer position and you can use your glutes. Two muscles that are the strongest pound for pound in your body, your glutes and your tongue, okay? So if you're not using, if you're not using your glutes, you're, getting, you're losing a lot on your squat and your deadlift, okay? So that's the fix, that's the spinal posture fix right here. Keep that tight, learn how to squat with that. Now here's one of the best ways and probably the safest way to release your hip flexor, okay? You're gonna be in a lunge position. What I want you guys to focus on are two things. One, glute activation. Right now, glute's not active. Turn the glute on, keep it flexed, okay? I want you guys to treat this like a squat on one leg. I don't want you to think about this as a lunge, okay? I want you to think about externally rotating the femur. Basically, it means just push your knees out. If you have problems doing that, odds are you have really tight adductors, okay? So I'm pushing my knee out, my glute is flexed, automatically you're gonna feel this hip flexor stretch, okay? It's an antagonist muscle concept, okay? If you flex the glute on the back, the front should stretch. So I feel a really good stretch right now. I'm gonna treat this like a squat on one leg. I'm gonna go down, maintaining flexion. My hand is here to make sure that my glute does not go soft, okay? If it goes soft, you'll feel it, you'll be able to push. You want to tighten it up, keep it tight, and push up. Okay, that's literally the only exercise that is, that's the safest way to do it. What you will notice is I'm not leaning way back here to stretch your hip flexor. What is that? That's lumbar extension. That's what you're trying to fix on your squat. So don't use that to stretch your hip flexor. If you flex the glute, the hip flexor will stretch. Just like if you flex your bicep, your tricep stretches. If you flex your tricep, your bicep flexes. Antagonist muscle group. Much safer, way better for your back. You don't squish your QL muscle, your quadratus lumborum and you get great activation. I do four sets of 10 of these, keeping my hand right here. Make sure the glute's flexed, make sure this is stretching, pushing these out, there's your three tips. Four sets of 10 before you squat, your hips will feel great, your glutes will feel great. Like, follow, subscribe. Perfect, dude.